Joining us for nine on your side at six o'clock, a Lakota High School graduate and Xavier University student plotted a terror attack against police and a military member. 21 year old Munir Abdul Kader could spend 40 years in prison. He pleaded guilty to federal charges. We have team coverage of this alarming case. We'll hear from a terrorism expert in just a moment. But first, Jay Warren is outside the suspect's alma mater with more on him. Jay? Well, that's right. He graduated Lakota East in 2013, went off to Xavier, as you explained. And his plan was to kidnap a military official and kill him or her while on video, and then go to a police station and shoot it up and throw Molotov cocktails inside. According to federal documents, Munir Abdelkader had a cousin die fighting with ISIS. He was upset about the loss and was planning to travel to Syria to join ISIS. But according to officials, had second thoughts about his ability to get there. So instead, an ISIS member directed and encouraged him to plan an attack here in Ohio. As part of his preparation, he bought an ammunition vest and scoped out a police station. In count one, it said that he did unlawfully attempt to kill officers and employees of the United States. Count two states that he knowingly possessed a firearm in furtherance of a crime of violence. And count three did knowingly attempt to provide material support to a terrorist organization. In a statement today from the U.S. Attorney's Office, quote, it's significant that Abdul Qadr was not just inspired by terrorist groups, he was in direct contact with the ISIL recruiter Junaid Hussein, who encouraged and directed his planned attack. That kind of direct contact with overseas terrorists is real, and it can happen and did happen right here in the Southern District of Ohio. Today, we talked to a group called the Fusion Center, which works to track social media postings of those seeking to do violence. Well, I would, uh, I would just say that uh, there, are 50, there are cases in all 50 states in the United States, so however you interpret that as often or not, yeah, there, it is going on. Now, this defendant is currently held at the Butler County Jail, which does hold federal prisoners. He will face dozens of years in a federal prison. Jay Warren, not on your side in Liberty Township.